Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy this reading, keep in mind this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not resonate for you. Um, take what fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome if you have Virgo placement elsewhere. All right, Virgos, let's get into this. Don't forget, you can become a member of my channel. Just click the join button um, there on the channel and you can get free tarot readings from me on Sundays in my live stream chats. Okay, Virgo, enough. Let's get into this and see what the messages are here for you for April. And obviously we've got some cards. Wow, I love it. Virgo, you keep getting like really great cards. So um, to start, you have, I like you. Okay, um, someone likes you, Virgo. That's cute. Romance is blooming or will be blooming in April. Fun flirting and someone wanting to date you. You also have kiss set, uh, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying uh, events over and over in your head. Okay, and you have abundance. Um, keeping a positive mindset, manifesting exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So this is good, Virgo. Um, uh, there's somebody who is, <laughs> they're a Gen Xer <laughs> who's interested in you. <laughs> that just like the first thing that came out. So whatever, if you're a Gen X, I'm a, I'm a Gen Xer. Um, if you're a Gen X, it's someone you're in your age group, your age bracket. Now, I do believe Gen X goes from like what the late 60s up until the early 80s. So you could be in your 50s and have someone in your 30s be interested in you. Okay. I'm not going to get into the whole historical thing of Gen X. This feels mostly like for most of you it's someone in your age group. However, it could be somebody else who's that you connect with who's interested in you. Um, and this person, um, <laughs> maybe they listen to old 80s music and they're a lot younger than you. Okay. So uh, we're just going to leave that there because, I mean, that's cute. It, it, it is. It's cute. Um, and it's very predictive. All right. Let me see what the romance angels... <laughs> to say oh my goodness Virgo so yeah there's definitely someone who's going to be interested in you and I feel like this person um you're manifesting them for sure um not the person but the idea that the type okay so love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay we like that and calling in your soulmate and honeymoon so Virgo like seriously you are <laughs> You're, you're doing this on your own. Be careful what you wish for, Virgo, because you just might get it. And I feel like that's what's happening here. Let's try to find out a little bit more about this person who's coming in here, uh, who likes you. Okay, what did we have? Um, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, number one, this person is unattached. Okay. And um, they're unattached. They could be a Virgo. They have decent money. They're not... So they're well off is how I feel. I mean, I don't feel like this person is wealthy, filthy, rich, but they're well off. Okay. They have money in the bank. They have nice things. Um, they're stable. Um, they like, they enjoy their, their solo doing things on their own um, activities, whatever that might be. Um, they have a lot of um, things that they like to do and they do this solo pleasure kind of thing. So either they go hiking um, like as far as physical activities, they like solo, um, type fitness activities, you know? Um, so I don't know, maybe they play baseball or they, which is, is kind of solo. Um, any kind of like, or, you know, any kind of physical fitness activity that they enjoy to do, like they go hiking by themselves, you know, they, they, they like to do things on their own, okay? And it could be you as well, but it feels like, uh, I just feel a very strong, like, stability kind of thing coming from this person, so I like it. They're very attractive as well, and we'll get a little bit more into that, but let me see what else is going on. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling some strong Virgo vibes here. Uh, you could be connecting with a Virgo. How exciting would that be uh, for you Virgos? Because the Knight of Pentacles is a Virgo, and the Nine of Pentacles is a Virgo card. So, um, hello, what the heck? <laughs> um, now, let me tell you what: if the Eight or the Ten of Pentacles show up, and um, 
or the hermit I, I mean we're just gonna be like what the heck is going on okay so this person is um they're very slow-ish um they're patient you know if there's anyone to date if there's anyone to connect with it's another virgo because they get you yes they'll get you and you'll get them and so that's really good and if they're just like heavy virgo in their chart even and their sun sign is an aries you know it, it just boils down to what the undercurrent is running their life what sign it is like the group of signs the heavy element the heavy um uh earth in their chart Th this person very stable though knight of pentacles always someone who's very reliable and they're patient and they work really hard and here they are coming in with like a solid offer you know they're not dreamy they're not like um lusty like the knight of wands where it's just all passion and fire this is you know they're, they're not like um like a fast talker or aggressive or assertive the knight of pentacles is calm patient um reaches out they don't they don't get their feathers ruffled very easily okay um and just very reliable kind of person so there's going to be an offer okay let's see oh seven of cups oh and the king of swords well 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 okay um so this feels like two parts of a message here um some of you have a king of swords male or female energy who's a ghoster <laughs> this person is a ghoster non-committal air um yeah air sign gemini libra aquarius wherever it is in their chart and because this person is ghosting and disappearing and non-committal um somebody else is coming in and like swooping you up or reaching out or you know finding or seeing that it's perfect timing um virgo <laughs> it's perfect timing why someone is away um or non-committal or they have that whoever this person is with this seven of cups energy where this person is like they have commitment issues or they have a lot of options and they're not sure and they can't make a decision somebody somebody comes in to your life in april okay and is asking you out and showing up it's almost like kismet it's almost like divine timing here um, some of you might be in this situation here in your life right now where it's like, what happened to your person? What's going on? They've disappeared. You don't know what's going on. Or some of you just are like, oh, they're, you just are non-committal and you're just not bothering with it. But somebody comes in, you know, the cat's away, the mouse will play. And I feel like Virgo, your energy is kind of like, you know what? I, you were there and you perhaps were like all in with someone and they just couldn't seal the deal so you open yourself up for somebody else okay and um or somebody else just shows up and it's like well you know i don't know virgo are you gonna take it i don't know i'm only seeing that there's someone who um, is interested in you and you have been energetically calling this person into your life wow okay ace of swords so clarity and truth is coming in april virgo you're gonna there's gonna be an initiation for sure um okay yeah and i was asking if you're gonna take it you're well some of you might just be like mm, let me think about it contemplate let me try to see a little bit i want to look at this king of swords and see what's going on here okay um two of wands in the reverse so this king of swords like um either travel problems or um can't follow through with plans i can't follow through with anything doesn't even get to the gate or the crossroad to to make themselves make a decision the, this this king of swords just doesn't even try it just feels like a, a very passive energy with this person when it comes to you they may not be that way in other areas of their life but it looks like they're just kind of leaving everything up in the air and they're not making any kind of decision and uh, maybe there were plans with with someone before and it's, it's just falling apart the plans are falling apart okay hmm this person's got some stick to it 
combativeness as far as like not making a decision is still making a decision and this person's decision is not to commit or not to choose or think about it and they're sticking with that that's the higher font that's like very rigid beliefs and that's why somebody else is coming in here virgo that's why somebody else is coming in and i see you kind of being like hmm I don't know. And just remember, like I said, the King of Swords, you know, it could be any sign, but they show up with this very cold kind of energy. Um, I feel like, Virgo, you might be questioning yourself, like, is this my soulmate? Is this my divine partner? Um, it's not a bad thing. I feel like some of you might need to just kind of check with spirit and be like, is this who you mean for me to be with? Um, or... or this could be someone who is being divinely sent to get you away from an energy you might still be holding on to. That does happen, okay? And and I feel like here, it may be what happens. Some of you may have been hanging on. And I know, I hate to say it, but sometimes the best way to get over someone is get under someone else, right? And I'm not speaking sexually. I'm just saying, like, get into somebody else if that's something you need to do. Um, it's always best to heal first, I believe, I think that that's the number one thing that you should do. But a lot of you probably have been healing and you may feel like you're ready, but you, you may still have like a reservation for another person who's just not willing to budge. And that's why somebody else is coming in here. Okay. Yes. Um, and it feels like it's another Virgo. And this is, yeah, divinely guided. But I kind of feel like Virgo, you, hmm. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. You're stressing. You're stressing about this. Tell me a little bit about this, Virgo, because this other person, because I like that how they are, how they showed up immediately. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Well, you might work with them. For some of you, there might be a work connection or a school connection. Um, this person... They definitely love to learn. I do feel like that. And they love to communicate and talk about the things that they learn. And they also like to share the things that they've learned. Um, they may work for their parents or a family kind of business. This I feel like this feels like a singles read, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of you might be interested to know. Um, they also might have a child that they are co-parenting with or um, taking care of a grandchild as well. Okay. Um, what's this? What is this? <gasps> oh, Virgo. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, this person has the knight, uh, two knights, which means they're action-oriented, like, because horses move. Um, I feel like, Virgo, this is going to be the next phase of your life connecting with someone here okay and, but i feel like you need to know that this person is very patient and very slow they do not rush if anything their emotions and the things they share emotionally might go before them a little bit quicker but as far as like stabilizing a relationship and um, bringing something in like a, like securing a kind of a connection they take their time with that so you can't equate that to um someone that interested in you um they they take their time getting to know other people um i feel like this person's been pretty much single for a very long time um and they kind of are set in their ways a little bit right so they're very protective of the things that they have and all that they've gained Okay, this person does have anxiety, some anxiety issues, um, but who doesn't, okay? Um, they stress about um, being alone for the rest of their life. They don't want to be. They, they don't want to spend the rest of their life home with their dog or their cat, and that's their only <laughs> source of uh, affection or love. They, they, they want a warm body next to them, um, definitely, okay? Hmm. They might live with their mom, maybe their or their mother lives with them, or they're helping out a, an a, an elderly, an elder, as well. Okay, um, I have to say that if you connect with them, 
or there might be some connection to um let me see let me get a clarifying card okay um for some of you they were you know they're over the grief of a past person as well i have to say that okay they're over the grief of a past person uh, you're getting clarity though virgo going into this month about what you need to do i can tell you that and apart from everybody else that's surrounding you let's take a little bit more of a look at you okay so <clears throat> you're out here with the three of cups in the reverse okay you are um you're just trying to have fun right now in your life i don't see you stressing right yet i don't see at least in this reading i don't see any stress about anything um maybe enjoying time with friends and you're overindulging in some ways or something i don't know what it is but you're overindulging in things that make you feel good even if they're not good for you <laughs> maybe you're eating too much chocolate cake yeah um a little bit of um bouncing back energy but you might have just be you might be bouncing way too high um so just be careful with that maybe pace yourself a little if you're drinking too much or something but it looks to me virgo like you're coming into this place in april where it's like you get clarity about what you need to do you get clarity that something is probably at the end of its rope with another person and um maybe this person was just messing around with too many they had too many cups to fill and to you it looks like you just are putting it maybe you put an end to that in april and for others of you um it just kind of feels like you know i'm hearing this phrase um Well, if you can do it, so can I. <laughs> if that's how you're going to live your life, then I'm going to do the same. It, it almost feels like you're not going to sit home and be goody two-shoes. Um, if this person is going to go out and um, kind of like just have all these cups and not commit to anything, it kind of looks like, you know what? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. So I don't really see you um, stressing too much over a relationship here. And you're a contender virgo <laughs> you're a contender you know um you don't have to sit home and cry or stuff your face with pizza every single night because you're not dealing with your issues you know um you can go out and have a good time and keep your options open as well and and doing that i feel like brings somebody new coming in that's interested in you okay so <laughs> subliminal message for Oris. Do you know Oris eats all that pizza and uh, with his pants off because he's not dealing with his personal issues, right? <laughs> I'm calling you out, pizza man. I'm calling you out. Okay, so um, yeah, Virgo, you're being a little shady here. You're just like, left hand isn't going to know what the right hand's doing, that's for sure. Yeah, you're not... Virgo, I, I just kind of feel like, I don't feel like you're being deceptive to hurt somebody. I just feel like you're you're not putting yourself, all, all of your, you're not putting your whereabouts out there. You're kind of like, you know, I'm just going to do me. I'm going to build in silence. I'm going to do what I need to do for myself. And I don't need to get on my soapbox and reveal it to everybody. Um, because when I finally get to the place that I want to be, then I will reveal right so you're kind of like right now building in silence okay and you have somewhat of an end goal i do feel like you have like an end goal i just heard that let, let me get some clarity on that what is the end goal here for you virgo what's what are you trying oh yeah you've got the wheel of fortune there you go you're making big change in your life so in some areas health wealth career love emotions whatever areas of your life material things you know, whatever it is, you're making big changes, but you're not announcing. You're building in silence right now, Virgo, uh, because change is coming. And this, it, when it's favorable to you, it, it, whatever your goals are, okay, whatever you're creating, whatever you're rebuilding, restructuring, whatever's going on, uh, I just, hold on, I just heard, okay, by the end by the new year, the new year, 2024, 
Two plus two makes four. Two plus two is four. Four and four is eight. Eight is a number of power, authority, strength, control. Virgo, it looks like at the end of, or the beginning of 2024, you will have amassed this incredible new beginning for yourself, this incredible new change. Major, I just heard, um, well, gee, I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky. I feel like you're going to be saying that to yourself. You may not be feeling that right now. But the wheel is going to really start turning for you, okay, in all areas of your life. The beginning of 2024 is how I feel. Um, okay, there's a the high priestess. Yep, you, you're going to reveal your secrets. Whatever you're working on right now, you're not saying nothing to nobody. And good. Keep it a secret, Virgo. Build in silence. And keep doing you. Um, and when you finally get to that place, which I see you will, and you reach that goal, what you're trying to get to don't let anybody know what you're up to um because people are always going to have something to say they, you know they're going to make comments whatever just just confirm it to yourself validate yourself and then when the time comes then you can reveal and it'll be a major shock to the system of everyone who's going to kind of turn around and be like i had no idea you had that in you where have you been what have you been doing what the heck oh my gosh this is amazing. That's the energy. The building in silence. Um, I love that, Virgo. I, for you, I really do. And I, I, I feel like if there's any zodiac sign in the the zodiac wheel that can do that the best, it's Virgo. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll be in boss mode for sure. The emperor. Definitely take lead. That's what I'm talking about. The eight power, authority, strength, and control. Virgo, um, I don't know what the heck, you're leading some kind of cause, um, whether personally in yourself or out, out there in the world. I don't know what you're doing, but it's going to come to fruition. It's all going to come out in the beginning of the year. I mean, I know that we're going into April. So you've got May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You've got eight months. There's the number eight again. <laughs> you've got eight months to complete whatever it is you need to complete. So give it your best, give it your all, okay? But yeah, as far as love goes, I do feel like, um, yeah, just keep hearing when the cat's away, the mice will play. If somebody's not coming in and, you know, um, trying to secure something with you, um, that they just, it's just basically if some, like, people who put themselves in a position to lose another person, that's on them, that's not on you everybody makes their own decisions and they have to be allowed to make their own decisions and we have to respect their decision whether we like it or not if someone makes a decision that they're going to remove themselves from their from your life um and put themselves in a position to lose you then it's it's on them for not taking the opportunity when the opportunity came right if you were there and you were you know saying like waving some i don't know what are those planes with the lights out on the runway i mean if you were like over here i'm here i'm ready you can land you can land and somebody's like nope we're turning all right see you later another plane coming in <laughs> i mean what are you gonna do right um so it is what it is so you've got the ace of wands here right you're being handed a torch right here and all you have to do is light it when you're in the dark to see the way forward, okay? You've definitely got new beginnings. Um, some of you are going to get an award, I just heard. You can be handed some kind of an award um, or receive something, recognition of some sort. Okay, you've got the seven of wands in the reverse. Um so this is basically hmm interesting that's a card of quitting which means uh not quitting on your dreams and your goals which means you will have finally accomplished this one particular thing that you're setting out to do beginning in april and you'll be able to end it. It's going to come to an end. So you'll be able to quit and then move on to the next thing. I don't know what that message is all about. But I just feel like for you personally, 
you know, um, the main overall messages here is uh, you're loving yourself first. As far as honeymoon goes, I do feel like, and I said this in the last reading, and I did feel like somebody was going to come in around Easter weekend, um, holiday time, okay? Um, one person out, one person in is how I feel. Um, you might already be talking to this person or having phone conversations with them already. I explained a little bit about this person, but I also feel like one person out, one person in, and all the while, here you are, um, focusing on you and building yourself to uh, wherever you're trying to be, whatever you, I don't know exactly what you're doing, but whatever it is, you know, and you will be successful at this. You will. It's going to start showing at some point, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, let's get your messages of love. Let's see what other messages you have here. Okay. So integrity, does the situation align with your values and morals? And I feel like that's a question for you. You're going to get some clarity about that, okay? And an awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. So you are definitely awakening. That is what that Ace of Swords is. That's a card of like clearing away the clouds and seeing the sky and the light and everything coming down. And it's like an aha. You're going to have an aha moment. I often look at that as like the light bulb moment. You're also going to reject somebody. Um... This rejection is actually divine protection, okay? Or you're being rejected by someone um, or were or may be rejected by someone as a form of protection so that they can bring somebody in who's better suited to you or someone that you can... Um, it's like I said, you know, <laughs> you you know i feel like this is someone who for some of you a small percentage is coming in it's it's kind of like you know sometimes someone new comes into your life to make you understand why some someone from the past never where it never worked out right and i i, I kind of but you still have to choose virgo you could have somebody new come in who's better than someone from the past and still choose to hold on to the past um you always have options virgo it's up to you Okay, just because someone new comes in and shows up better, you know, you don't have an emotional attachment to that person. You may still have an emotional attachment to the person in the past who may not be good for you. So you have to make the decision because understand this, your feelings will fade over time. If you're stuck on a relationship with someone who treated you bad or just wouldn't commit or um, just couldn't, or they were passive or they just never would get to a place of making a decision and just come, maybe kind of coming in and out of your life, you know, off and on, um, you know, you have you have an emotional attachment to that but if you break that off and give yourself time and patience that will fade and and, and so that it just it, it fades in a way that it just doesn't trigger you anymore it just really doesn't bother you if they walk in the door and they go out again you're just like all right well don't forget to lock it when you leave like you just don't care like you know what i mean it, you just it's not that you don't care about the person but you're just not attached to it anymore and giving yourself that opportunity, some of you are just afraid you're not going to feel it anymore, but you, there's somebody new showing up here. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's up to you, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel like you need to do for yourself is, of course, is up to you. So I just kind of get a sense like you're, you're definitely going to get some clarity. Okay, some of you may reject somebody new and hold on to a past person. Maybe you need more clarity about that. Or you um, have just decided you're not giving up on your past person. You love them. You, you've got so much connected or so much invested. I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying what's right or wrong. I just, I, I just think for you, when you have this awakening, you're going to understand what it is that you need to do. Um, do I want the Hidden Truth Oracle? I'm just going to take one. I'm just going to take one. You know what? I'm making this about you, Virgo. So many things remind me of you. I wish I had treated you better. Virgo, that's a message for yourself. A hundred percent. If you're struggling to understand who you are, um, this is very psychological to say, but when you see something that you like out there in the world, Virgo, that's universe trying to say, pay attention to yourself, okay? 
because you're attracted to that. You know, like yeah. when you go into the store and you, you ha- kind of have in your mind a specific type of shoe that you're looking for, and you're not going to just take any old shoe. <laughs> Are you not going to take a knockoff shoe? Are you not going to take something kind of close to it, maybe a shade different? You want your shoe, and that's what you're going to go after. And when you see your shoe, it's almost like a gift. It's like, oh my gosh, that's the shoe. That is the shoe. I don't need to shop for anything else. That is the shoe, right? And it's kind of like when you see things that light you up in your life, that's universe saying, this is who you are and gift yourself these things that you love okay treat yourself better some of you might have regret that you didn't treat yourself better in the past that's fine learn from it and pay forward to yourself going forward do better for yourself oh this reading is turning into a big old i don't know what um okay let me see i want to get some moon pie messages here i just saw a card flip Oh, the struggle is over. Amen, brother and sister. The struggle is over. Virgo, it's just a matter of time. Be patient with yourself. You're coming to the end of this thing that you're going through, okay? If you're going through a thing, if not, um, whatever, whether it's like a burden or you're exhausted, just push, keep pushing because I'm telling you, don't give up. Go all the way to the end of the year. Okay, and you've got stand your ground in the reverse. So this tells me here for you, Virgo, is make sure that you get your rest and your recovery in between. Okay, um, and keep the faith. Keep your faith. Don't give up. Um, I feel like you're, I, they're saying your isolation will end. It will come to an end. You might be choosing to isolate and that's just a way of you're protecting yourself but I, I just feel like keep the faith keep going and finish whatever you're trying to finish and a word on no contact in the reverse um this is going to sound really strange but the message they're giving me is you you're going to get to the point where the people in your life who you're going to heal so damn much that you, it's not going to bother you to be in contact with them or not. Does that make sense? If you've blocked people, um, that's for you, for you because you're being triggered and that's because you need to heal that. But I feel like what's going on here, Virgo, is all the people that you have um, blocked and I am not talking about... Um, look, people can't, people can't take advantage of you unless you let them that's all like i feel like you're you just have this divine protection over you i'm not talking about people who have put their hands on you okay and people who say things like don't own the words like sticks and stones man you know people are going to say stuff all the time sticks and stones may break my bones but words can never hurt me and that that's truer than true and i know that words people say things and it can be hurtful but understand that that's a reflection of how they feel about themselves when someone is abusive like that verbally abusive towards another person they're talking about themselves it, it it's called projection right it has nothing to do with you and i'm rubber you're glue holla we're 80s here it's true you have to kind of have a little bit of a thick skin in life you know um and when you un uh, remove your no contact from people that's just a message to other people that says you know whatever you say i'm rubber you're glue it doesn't bother me do your thing i don't need to block people because i'm strong within myself and and if you're not already there you will get there you will get there right um <laughs> i don't even know i'm taking it back so old school here let me get into some chinese signs and i want to take a look and see <clears throat> you and this new person just always go with kindness always go with kindness no matter how people treat you whatever their demeanor or their personality is uh, you respect them because you're a respectable person. You treat them with kindness because you're a good person. Don't lower yourself. Okay, let me see. All right, we're going to just pull them. Okay, 
So we've got year of the pig. So this could be you. It could be your per this new person, or um, it could be both of you or none of you. So you've got year of the monkey, year of the snake, year of the tiger, and I feel like my cards are all reversed. Year of the rabbit, year of the dragon, year of the dog. Year of the goat. Okay, so understand if your sign is not here, it doesn't mean the message is not for you. Okay, all right, let's get into your random messages. Okay, wow. Okay, um, is somebody draining pasta? I just saw an image. Someone's draining pasta right now. Or maybe not right now. I mean, it depends on where you are listening to this reading and draining some pasta. Okay. All right. All right. Somebody is 29 years old. Just picking that up. And uh, someone has a quilt on their bed. Quilt on the bed. Patchwork quilt. Okay. Now let's have a look. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, okay. I'm seeing a farm and I'm seeing um, one of those. I don't know. It's a machine with wheels on a farm. I know nothing about farm. <laughs> equipment <laughs> i'm just seeing a, um, a machine with wheels on a farm working so maybe somebody does that for a living or you see that somewhere or uh, maybe you sell these just farm equipment or something along those lines yeah oh and they're also telling me you and this new person are kind of like night and day or could be in interracial connection as well but you both are very unique okay um very unique you're both like unicorns from different tribes you're both the unicorn of your 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 different each of your families or your tribe <laughs> i don't know what that means but uh, very unique very special magical i'm just hearing okay why am i shuffling i got my cards um so okay somebody has a pet snake uh, I just saw a snake. <clears throat> Somebody has a pet snake. Okay. I don't know if you feed it mice or whatever. Somebody, I don't know who it is. I'm just seeing a snake in a snaky cage kind of thing. Okay. And. Huh. That's weird. Both of these are the king and the queen of wands of fire. So very similar. Yeah. There's so much similarity happening. I feel different yet the same um okay somebody's last name is quick quick and i'm getting melanie uh, mel and i'm getting mel z mel z okay Someone's an attorney. Uh, someone works in a hospital or in an ambulance. And somebody wears Uggs to work or wears Uggs all the time. Men's, me men's Uggs, ladies' Uggs. I don't know. Uggs slippers, maybe. Oh, definitely Uggs. <laughs> UGG. Definitely Uggs. And um, someone's taking dancing classes or ballroom dancing or learning dance moves, maybe Zumba, I don't know, it's doing some kind of physical activity, dancing or something, maybe going dancing. It feels like um, learning though, mostly learning. Okay, um, I just heard Gigi. Somebody's 38 years of age also, 38, 39. All right, I want to get into, um, let's 
get your numbers and stuff here. Let's see. You've got Taurus, Gemini, Cancer twice. Okay. September 18th. Um, we have August 30th, August 27th, 26th, 25th, 28th. Um, September 11th. Um, and also... Eight, yeah, they keep giving me September 18th. Someone's born in 67. Um, someone was born in 62. And 85. We also have 111 here. And uh, I'm getting area code 267. And 768. And 985. Okay. All right. Cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini. Cancer twice. Some of y'all are connected with a cancer. I just see that. Okay, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini again, and Taurus. Okay, let's get your numbers. And I just saw Libra and Aquarius. All right, you guys. Someone's 50 years of age. Okay, hmm, September 16th. Um, August 30th, I think I said that already. Again with the September 18th. Strong September 18th vibes. Um, someone is 44. And, okay, they're giving me, um, again, 38 and 39. Really strong. Um, okay, 810. And 389. Okay. I'm going to end that there. That was a lot of fun, you guys. Um, hopefully that gave you some, I don't know, insight to some degree. Let me, you know what? I'm just being called to leave you with one more message. And I am going to do, hold on a minute. I just want to see. Okay, the full moon is April 6th. So we'll have to do your full moon reading. Um, for April 6th, but I just want to leave you with a moon message here. Okay, so the message here is look at the bigger picture. What does that mean for you, Virgo? Um, that's a full moon in Sagittarius. And I don't think we're going to be full moon in Sagittarius. But um, crazy, I just opened the book and it opened right to that. So this is definitely needed to be heard. Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma, Virgo? Fretting over minutia can be counterproductive or perhaps you're being all talk and no action the this card is a reminder that while it's good to work things through sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture what do you then see about your current situation what's the most positive thought you can have about it now is the time to count your blessing, blessings even if you don't yet have exactly what you want this card is a rem is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you, and I feel like April's a month of surprises. Um, attune to the moon, the full moon especially. Take time out for a mini break or adventure. And I feel like I was seeing that early in the reading. Make sure you take some breaks in between whatever your your big goal here you're accomplished trying to accomplish um other meanings for this message this situation may have come around because you've been distracted be confident without being overconfident to win the day have you shown that you care if not now is the time and if that's care to somebody else or care to self it's time find a balance between speaking your mind and saying too much and and that's why i felt like with that um building in silence you can tell people kind of like what your plans are but keep it minimal and don't give away too much information don't say too much about what you're doing. Find that balance, okay? Um, try not to make a big deal out of it about what you're doing to other people. You don't want to get into a position of like bragging, I'm going to do this. You don't want to set yourself up. Finish the goal and then let your work show for itself, right? Because then nobody could say, oh, you can't do it. Oh, it's impossible. Oh, you'll never get there. 
or you know you have a lot of people who could be jealous of you trying to accomplish something and people don't like it when other people change and they do better than them it's unfortunate but that's what it is so keep it to yourself and when you've completed your goal you've accomplished then you can show your your rewards or you can show everybody what you've done right and then they can't take it away from you at that point or try to sabotage it for you the full moon is a time when we are reminded that life is an adventure and there's a big wide world out there to see beyond our backyard it's about having fun and being prepared to sail into uncharted territory it's about big ideas versus the details no matter when you draw this card which is now it encourages you to look at the bigger picture what's the outcome going to be for you what is it that you see what is your vision how, what do you see in the future for you and work towards that okay um if you're in a position where your goal is to chase people and not goals you will never be happy if you're going to do any chasing chase your goals and let people chase after you <laughs> don't waste your time chasing people okay because you're just going to spin your circles and then your whole life if you focus so much on chasing another person everything going on in your own life gets no attention so flip the script on yourself, Virgo. All right, I'm going to leave your reading there. Again, don't forget, if you want to get a personal reading, you can book with Casey. Go to my website, moonpytarot.com, half price for what I normally charge, and he is amazing. Trust me when I tell you. Um, and also, if you want to become a member, join my channel, show up here on Sundays, 1 p.m. Eastern for the live stream. I will add a later live stream to answer questions. You can get personal tarot readings with me for the other side of the world crew who are on a different time zone. Okay, but I'll, that'll be coming. All right, you guys, love you very much. Have a fantastic night. And I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Take care.